and I had heard from another athlete uh, from Saskatchewan that uh, there was a major accident on that bus and uh, his father uh, gave me a text and said uh, it wasn't it wasn't very good what we decided to do uh, this morning was give people a place to to come and leave something uh, leave uh, something in respect for Stephen and his family let them know that uh, we're thinking about him and we're thinking about the family and it's a pretty tight-knit community around here lots of hockey players I, I think there were three St. Albert kids uh, that passed away as well Chris uh, Joseph is one of our good friends his son passed away as well yeah so uh, you know not too many people in the city of St. Albert will go untouched by it. Um, you know, our prayers go out to Chris and his family as well. I just set it up today so that people could just drop things off and, you know, we'll keep it here until, you know, people, uh, people have a chance to, to let Stephen and his family know, you know, that people in this community are thinking about him. Stephen was a great kid, uh, big kid, six foot six. He was our biggest guy, so uh, you know he had a big personality, funny, witty, smart, and he was a good hockey player, big defenseman, gentle giant, you know. And he's been uh, growing up in that group for the past, you know, nine, ten years. So all those guys together kind of, you know, became a family. That it's bigger than the game, right? Um, there's there's a brotherhood there that exists, and you know, in, in Stephen's case, like we can all take what Stephen was like and aspire to be like him, and take his strengths with us, and and kind of continue him on that way, right? Like I said, he was just a contagious presence in the gym and an incredibly hard worker, and and we can remember him for that and try to maybe put that in our own lives and continue that on. We just like to extend our, you know, our heartfelt sorrow to both Alan and Trish and let them know that we're here for them.